What's up everyone? I wanted to do a video to share a little project, kind of something pretty stupid I've been working on. It's been taking this Fisher Price sit to crawl sea turtle and I've kind of modded it, hacked it so that it'll play um, whatever audio tracks I load into it like this. And today I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, where I came, why, why I did this, uh, and how I did it. So you can see a little bit behind the scenes. All right. So like I said, this is the Fisher Price sit to crawl sea turtle. And I've modded this so that it still plays in its normal operating mode. So you can still play the regular, uh, audio tracks that it'll play and it plays kind of just kid stuff and counting one two three all right that's what it does normally and it's my daughter's toy she loves playing with this thing i got it as a gift um, from some friends for her birthday she turned a year old a couple months ago and uh about the same time that we got this, I started, just got a hair in my brain to uh, start looking into electronics, circuit board stuff, start learning about how to build electronics, how to do stuff. And I got into Arduino, which you know if you've ever heard that name before, it's an open sourced, um, basically microchip. And there's a whole community around this microchip and there's all kinds of you know, documentation and uh, lots of YouTube videos of people doing stuff with the microchip, building things, all kinds of electronics um, from scratch essentially. There's all kinds of add-on products, which I'll talk about because I use some of those to build, to do this little mod that I did. Um, but I got into that, I, I bought an Arduino, which is the microchip. I bought a little starter kit, I started learning a bunch. And then I was looking at this thing and I was like, oh, let me see what's in here. Since I know a little bit, I was learning about microchips and all these components, electronic, electronic, electrical components. I was like, let me open this thing up and see what's going on in there. And I was like, oh, what if I, uh, what if I could somehow hack into the chip on here and put my own songs on there? And then when you played it, it would play my own, or not songs, but audio tracks. Uh, that'd be kind of funny, be kind of a cool prank, you know, especially if I could like, have it play its normal tracks and then like flip a switch and it'll play my custom tracks. And that's basically what I ended up doing. So um, it plays those, uh, the original tracks that come with the toy. If you just turn it on with this switch or I can turn it off. And then I have this little custom switch that I added here. And when I flip that, some red lights come on. I put some red LEDs in here. So I know that my custom stuff is going and then I hit the button again. And it'll Don't play. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Turtle. turtle. All right, so I, I just put a bunch of dumb, funny movie quotes on it. So it's been a lot of fun putting this together. So let's open it up and let's see exactly what I did to make this happen. <laughs> This is quite a challenging project because the original idea was to um, basically hack into the chip here. Well, it turns out that's a lot, actually way harder than I was really prepared to get into. After talking to some people online, they're like, mm, that's not a good idea. These, the next idea was just to, hey, let's just hook into the speaker. Let's just add my own chip, my own MP3 player, my own SD card, and just hook it up to the speaker here and uh, and just use the same speaker. So the first thing I did was add this switch, which you can't really see because it's, fortunately a lot of this is gonna be hard to see and I'm not gonna take it apart. Um, there's a switch here on the bottom that, you, that I use and this is a double, it's called a double pull, double throw switch or double throw, double pull switch. And basically what it does is when you switch it, you're actually switching two things on and off. Okay, so when I switch this over, I'm closing the connection between the speaker and the factory trip, and I'm opening up the, the connection between the speaker and my custom chip. 
my Arduino chip. And then I'm also at the same time uh, closing the connection between the battery and the, the, back, the factory chip and then opening the, the connection between the, factory, uh, the battery and my custom chip. All right, my board. So it's, you see how we're, we're double throwing, we're double throwing two different things, the connection with where the speaker's connected to and where the battery's connected to, because I'm sharing these batteries with the Arduino as well. Originally, I thought I don't need to tap into the battery source here. You know, it's three AA batteries that are in this thing, it's 4.5 volts. I was like, oh, I can just use a nine volt battery. That'll fit in here, it's small. Well, it turns out the nine volt battery does not provide really enough current. If it's, if it's a brand new, fresh nine volt battery, it works. But after just a few minutes of using the toy, the current on that nine volt battery drops down to a low enough point where it doesn't supply enough current to really run both this Arduino chip and this other chip that I'll talk about, which is the DF Player Mini chip. Um, it just didn't provide enough current to do that. So that's when I said, all right, let me just tap into the battery component of this toy. Um, these three AA batteries, which turns out 4.5 volts is enough to run an Arduino. You just run it directly to the five volt pin. Um, don't run it to the V, the voltage in pin. You want to run it to the five volt pin and it's, it's enough to do what you need to do. I mean, maybe not for every application, but it worked enough for mine, for my application. And the only thing that I was, that caused me some trouble with that was like, all right, if I'm gonna run off the, this battery source, I need to connect my chip, my ground from my chips to the ground of this battery. And there's just no way to get to the ground in this thing. Like the way this, the way this, this toy is configured, there's really no way for me to access the negative terminal on this battery pack. Um, so what I ended up doing was getting my multimeter out and finding a connection between the negative terminal of the battery uh, when you open up the battery component on the like the side that you can where you can change the batteries out and somewhere on this chip and I found that this little piece here you can see that right where my fingernail is that little metal piece there at the top was connected to the negative uh, terminal of the battery pack. So I ended up soldering a wire <laughs> to that. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's something that has to do with this switch here. And I think it's also creating another problem that I'll talk about at the end uh, that worked. So here's what I got going on here with my custom chip. So I have my Arduino, which is connected to the DF player mini, which is kind of the most popular cheap MP3 player out there for the Arduino. Unfortunately, it's not the greatest, they call them modules out there. Like, there's just a lot of really weird, quirky things with it that I'm not going to get into in this video. But yeah, so I, you know, you just connect the Arduino, the TX and the RX to the TX and the RX on the DF Player Mini. Uh, and that basically connects the two chips so they can interact and you know transfer data back and forth. And I just have a bunch of other stuff going on in this. So I have like two LEDs hooked up to this. So you can see I have two resistors here. Those are going to my LEDs, which I set up so that they kind of blink on and off when the music, when the audio is playing. I have a switch here on the left that will play the audio. And every time you press the button, it'll go to the next audio track automatically. And this whole, the position of this is set up, it's right on top of, if you can kind of see here underneath it, you see kind of a blue rubber, there's another blue rubber button under there. And that's the original button that was on top of this board that lines up with this orange button on the side of the toy. Okay, so when you press down on this orange button, originally it would press down on this blue button, this blue rubber switch, and trigger the next song on the toy. Um, so what I did is I just basically took a simple switch that I had on hand from my starter kit, and I just super glued it on top of that. So when you press down on it, you're pressing down on both buttons, and you're just closing the switch here, but that triggers the playing of the track and I programmed it so that that button will play the next track on the DF Player Mini. And the DF Player Mini does take a little a micro SD card. That's how I loaded it. my audio tracks onto it. Um, you just slide it into this metal micro SD card slot on top of the chip. Uh, it was kind of a challenging project. There was some noise, especially when I was using the nine volt battery, there was a lot of noise and switching to the 4.5 volts, the three AA source of the toy, really cut down on a ton of noise. 
but there's still some noise and when you heard me play the track you probably heard a little bit of that that noise and i can turn it on here we can kind of see it working uh, with the hood off and if i press the button here you'll you'll hear some of the noise Now that track plays really well for some reason, but some of the other tracks you really hear it like this one. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? So you can just hear that stuttering in the audio. Other people are talking about using capacitors and all that. I didn't want to get into that. I don't know enough about it, so I didn't even go there. So yeah, the other problem I'm having is battery drainage. So if I leave these batteries plugged in, for some reason it will drain the battery. I think it probably has something to do with me grounding through this random thing here. I'm guessing that keeps some connection open that just keeps draining the battery as long as the batteries are are in the, in the toy, even though if I even if I turn this off. So, and sometimes when I turn on the toy, the original toy, and then I turn it off, it'll keep playing. Like I just turned the switch off and it's still playing. So that tells me that there's still like because my connection that I did here, like it connected some things that shouldn't maybe be connected <laughs> and it's causing the batteries to be drained as the toy just sits here off. That is the, that's that's it, man. That's the, the Sea Turtle Fisher Price Sit to Crawl Sea Turtle mod using the Arduino. I'm using the Nano Every chip if you didn't recognize that with the DF Player Mini hooking up with the factory speaker on the toy, got my own custom switch, just kind of <laughs> tacked on top of the switch of the toy. And I had to do some dremeling too, I should have no said that. There was a bunch of plastic in here I had to take out so that I could fit all this in the back. Uh, so I had to buy a little dremel and do that. There's just a lot of little problems along the way that I'm sure any of you that do s this Arduino stuff run into all these little problems and you have to keep buying stuff uh, and buying stuff and trying things and you figure it out if you want to figure it out so that is it that's the sea turtle mod let's just hear all the tracks let me just get some audio of this and i'll just send you out with uh, the rest of the audio that this thing plays every single track i thought it was kind of funny so Alright, that is the Sea Turtle audio mod, I'll call it. If you want to see all the details, if you want to see schematics of the circuitry, a diagram of the inside of the toy, how I laid everything out. If you want to get all of the you know details about everything I did to this toy to mod it, definitely check out the project page on our Arduino's website. I've linked to the project page in the description of this video. So click on that and you'll get all the details if you want to know more. Um, you might want to look at that. So check the link in the description. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. This is a fun project. Hope you enjoyed it as well. See you next time.